all right guys so you got to boot on your pc for another late night gaming session or on the hub um boot your pc up and then nothing happens you get a black screen everything seems to be loading fine the computer's booting up as normal the fans are all kicking in and then you turn and look at your screen and you see a black screen appear and then the normal bios menu appears but then what's this if you run into this error here and it says there's no raid configuration just simply hit f1 to go into setup this is going to take you into the BIOS menu. Now you can see here straight away there is an error. The date, time and year is completely off. It's not. And the time is 00. zero. So if you see this error, um, all you've got to do is manually configure your boot configuration. So first thing is don't be scared by this screen here. Turn it into easy mode if you want to. We're hitting F7. This is the easy mode. You can see there's no boot priority disk detected. Now we need to change that. We're going to go back into the advanced mode and in advanced mode if you go to the boot menu here and what you want to do is select the secure boot option first you can see date and time still wrong so select secure boot and it's going to ask you for this now select windows ufi mode on the os type go back and then on the csm one you want to enable it that's all you need to do just do those two things you can change the date and time here if you want but i'm not going to bother doing that i'm just going to hit the f10 button to save and exit and restart the pc by doing this once the pc restarts just give it a few seconds see everything's going to boot down and back up again once it boots up um, the computer will not load yet still there is another step that you need to do so just give it a few seconds once it boots up you're going to get that screen appear now here all you need to do is hit the delete button on your keyboard to go back into the BIOS menu and you can see date and time it's still incorrect but on easy mode you can see it's actually detected a boot disk now so all you need to do is select the boot disk menu um, obviously it depends on where you're stored your Windows operating system so for me it's on the M2 drive so select that one give it a few seconds and bam Bob's your uncle the Windows is actually loading now you can do this all the time if you are running into this issue with your PC but it is very annoying and it is just not ideal to be loading your PC up and having to go through these steps continuously just to get it to boot now the reason why this is happening is on the motherboard there is something called a CMOS battery which is basically a watch battery when that battery starts to fail it starts to do this so now I'm going to show you how to replace that battery alright guys so you saw the error which appeared when I tried to boot the PC up it came up without a boot drive and it wouldn't load Windows operating system and also the date and time and year was also incorrect now you can work around it the way I've done by showing you how to go into the BIOS menu and things like that. But if you want to actually fix the issue, all you need to do is very simple, is you need to replace the motherboard's CMLS battery. Now they look like pretty much one of these standard batteries like this. And I'm going to show you exactly now how to change it on the motherboard. Once that's changed, you shouldn't get any more booting errors and the computer should boot as normal without any errors happening. This is a, another picture of what they look like just basic CR2032 batteries and they are literally located just behind the graphics card and I'll show you how to do that now first things first we're going to do is switch this bad boy off okay, if you want to change the battery for this this is it CR2032 and it's located behind the graphics card so we're going to do is switch the computer off and damn right computers off let's disconnect all the cables from the back and I'll show you exactly how to locate that battery pack <laughs> So that right there is where the faulty, faulty battery is and what's causing it to not load up the BIOS. So all you've got to do is remove your graphics card because it will most likely be in the way. But on any motherboard, regardless of which motherboard you have, you should see the battery like this. If it's not like this, it could be under a cover or something like that. But they all the standard size battery looking like this. So all you've got to do is just pop that one out, put the new one in and boot up the PC and it should be all good. <laughs> So as you can see we've done the battery change but everything's all plugged back in i'm not going to put everything back completely just in case something goes wrong so next up we're going to boot the pc up and now hopefully we should not get a boot error drive menu so you can see everything's booting up as normal we've got all green lights okay 
Okay, it's going to read it. Oh, we've got a red light. It's green. Oh. Okay, so we've got a green light. You can see out there flashing. Now we've got something on the screen. Now let's see what this does first. It might ask us to... Yeah, I thought so I would do this. Right, this is probably because I've just changed the battery and once I've reset it, it should all be fine. So let's go ahead and reset this and then we'll see what we can do next. So ignore the mess. The computer's still out, obviously. So here we go. Let's just F1 to enter the setup. Where are we? F1. Okay. Now it's going to bring us to this. But right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the date and time. Bearing in mind, we put a new battery in there. So let's just sort out the dates and times first. So the 4th and today is officially the 24th. 24th, let's do the year 2025. And the hour, which is exactly 8.28. So let's just go do that. So 0.8. Followed by 28. So just do 28. All right, we'll leave the 46 seconds. That's fine. Right, let's just save that. Right. So you can see here we've got the time and date is all fine. If we go to the boot menu, okay, let's do secure boot. Let's do this again, exactly as we did. Okay, boot configuration. It's not actually showing me anything in here for some weird reason. So let's just go into this one here. Let's enable it. Okay, now we're just going to hit F10 and we're going to exit with those changes. Now, when you do F10 and changes, all it does is it pretty much restarts the PC. So now when we turn it back on again, it's probably going to come up with that menu again because obviously the boot drive is not compatible. So let's just go ahead and let's hit the delete button. I know it's not going to work, so I'm going to hit just keep spamming delete because nine times out of 10, and then if I just change the easy mode, exactly, it's changed the boot priority drive, it needs to change, so hit F8. My Windows is saved on the M2 drive, so just select that one, and it's obviously gonna boot up Windows. Now, if this, now that I've done this the first time, technically, because I've changed the battery, when I restart the PC next time, I shouldn't have to do any of this and it should just load straight into Windows. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for it to load up. I'm going to shut down the PC again, unplug everything and turn it back on. And I'm just going to see what it does. So let's just go and shut this down. I do the shut down. Right, so I'm shutting it down. Okay, let's wait for it to switch off. Once this shuts down, I'll turn it back on again. So it's completely off now. If I just boot this back up again now, let's just check those traffic lights. They should all go green. Okay, that's gone green straight away. So fingers crossed, this should go straight into Windows mode. I'm not going to press delete this time. It's gone into Windows. So you can see straight away it's instantly loaded. Quick as always. Right, I'm going to take it one step further to double check this is all okay. So I'm just going to shut this down again. Now I want to be sure that 100% everything is working fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it off, but then I'm going to switch it off from down below from the main plug socket just in case to double check it because you never know with these computers. Right, let's just wait for this thing to completely switch off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off on the back of it as well from the power socket. So right around here, right, the power's off there. The plug sockets are here, off off give it a few seconds it's still got its lights on but wait for that to completely switch off then that will be a full shutdown so give this a few seconds once that switches off i know there's no power running through it okay that's off right so let's go again on on all right those two are now on okay let's turn this back on from the plug again Right, that's back on. Right, so you can see lights are on. Right, let's do it one more time. Okay, this light should go straight to green. Okay, straight to green, which is a good sign. That's a good sign. Now this should show that and it should load straight into Windows. 
perfect so there you go guys all you need to do if you run into any issues like that with your pc it's pretty much this just replace your motherboard's batteries and bob's your uncle quick fix don't need to call an it technician don't need to call nasa or anything you're all fixed and good to go